Bukele wana inchi? Uvu mashinani. Thank you very much. My name is Comrade Bush. I'm the Attorney General of Bungela Mwana Inchi. Together with us here are the Executive Council of Bungela Mwana Inchi. And today we want to address you regarding the Corruption Festival, the technical system failures, and nepotism that is designed to paralyze the Kenya uh, Police Deposit, Deposit Taking Circle, and which is presided over by two corrupt officials of the circle. As part of our ongoing, ongoing commitment to promote transparency, accountability, and good governance in public institutions, Bungela Manainchi has taken note of serious allegations of financial mismanagement and corruption within the Kenya National Police Deposit Taking Circle. We stand in solidarity with the over 10,000 circle members who have called for immediate investigations by the EACC and the regulatory authority, which is uh, SASRA in this case. The concerns raised by SACO members are deeply alarming and point to a gross violation of financial accountability and governance principles. Some of the key issues that they raised include rampant misappropriation of funds and unethical behavior by SACO officials, which have left members financially strained and disillusioned. A demand for the resignation of top SAC officials who have been implicated in gross mismanagement, nepotism, and driving many members to withdraw from the circle. Wasteful spending on the, on the faulty MTAWI mobile uh, banking system, which has been described as unreliable, frequently crashing at the end of the month. Members report that they are being unfairly charged whenever this uh, system uh, failure occurs at the end of the month. Hence, when they want to take loan, they cannot access the loan facility because the system has crashed and they are uh, equally charged transaction fee. A dismissal of former ICT general manager for opposing the implementation of the substandard MTAWI system, which was adopted alongside another problematic platform, which is called Acolyte. We therefore demand, as a matter of urgency, a comprehensive investigation into the qualification of circle staff, allegations of nepotism, and governance of the circle. A thorough audit of the circle financial and ICT system, including verification of the financial statements to ensure transparency, integrity in the management of members' contributions. As an immediate assessment of internal control and any possible falsified accounts, with the ESC leading the investigations to ensure accountability. This time around, we don't want the internal department to lead the investigations. We want the ESC, because it is independent, to conduct those investigations to ensure that there is accountability. Bungala Monainchi strongly believes that good governance is fundamental to the prosperity and trust of public institutions. As we continue to advocate for the protection of citizen rights and the upholding of governance principles in all sectors, we call on all Kenyans to remain vigilant and demand accountability from leaders entrusted with management of public and private institutions. And we equally want to put on notice the CS for Cooperative uh, Development and the SMEs. We also want to put on notice uh, SASRA, which is the regulatory body. And we equally want to put on notice uh, the uh, institutions that are charged with investigating economic crimes in this country. Because under their watch, one of the most robust and financially resilient institutions within the SACO ecosystem, which is the Kenya Police Deposit Taking SACO, is crumbling, is paralyzed by two corrupt officials, Mr. Lilei and Mr. Atisia. It is degenerating into a uh, an enterprise of corruption. It is drowning into bankruptcy. So the relevant authorities led by the CS must take up arms and restore order in the National Police uh, Deposit Taking Circle. And equally, it is important to point out that funds that are held by the circles are public funds. These funds are contributed painfully by our disciplined and hardworking police officers who are paid peanuts. Now, when someone who earns these funds 
does not meet the requirements for executing a public office as stipulated within the Constitution. They must be held to account, they must be investigated, they must be indicted, they must be charged, because it is criminal to handle public funds without the requisite professional and integrity uh, requirements as, as an officer. We equally have instructed the Auditor General to conduct a special audit into the accounts and financial statements of uh, the Kenya Police Deposit Taking Circle because we believe that there is a lot that has not been unearthed yet. So Bungala Monenchi President instructed the Auditor General to conduct necessary investigations and uh, audit of those statements and to report to us within uh, uh, one month so that we can uh, prepare a petition to submit before Parliament so that the CS who is in charge of cooperative, de cooperative development, Mr. Mr. Oparanya, can be summoned before the relevant departmental committee of Parliament to answer because this institution is degenerating into a criminal enterprise. So we want people charged, we want people brought to book. Thank you very much. Bungela Monenchi. My name is Francis Awino. I'm the current Bungela Monenchi president. And at the same time, I'm the people's president. The reason why we are here today, it is because uh, there is a concern and a high concern towards we and uh, towards our society and towards the Bungela Monenchi fraternity. We are concerned that why is it Mr. Atisia and Mr. Lele has been living a high-end lifestyle than the Inspector General of Police. And if you check the Saralid scale, you will find that the Inspector General of Police earns more than Mr. Atisia and Mr. Rele. It is very simple. We know how much the junior officers does earn. And we know their lifestyle. And these junior officers, after the Constitution allowed that they, we should have circles, they, they, started their, they, they started the police circle and they have been putting their money there. Right now we are hearing that there, there is no money in the circle. The junior officer, their lives has been deteriorating because of lack of money. Where the senior officer, like Mr. Lele, Mr. Atisia and, the, and their likes, has been living a great life and they have been living a, li a lavish lifestyle with the money they have taken to, uh, from the junior officers. To Nasama IV, E Kenya ni yetu sisi wote. Nasazenye activists na nakuja mbele kutatea polisi, wanasemanga activists na polisi awaezi endanisha. But sisi kama activists tunasema IV, si itaji kukuomba ruhusa, ndiyo ni kutete. Na itaji kukutetea, sasa nyena feel kuwa rights zako zime violetiwa. Sa hizi rights za wadazazi wetu zime violetiwa, na rights za polisi zime violetiwa. Sasa nyena polisi anachanga pesa yake kidogo kidogo, huo anachanga ndiyo maisha yake ya kale. Maisha yake ya kuja, at least, apata life mzuri. Na ndiyo pia watoto wao wasome. Lakini aiweze kani kuwa ile pesa kidogo kidogo wanachanga, iyo pesa inarudi na chukuliwa na wale officer wakubwa wakubwa. Sasa sisi tunasama hivi, Tulisha invite Auditor General la kuje audit lifestyle za hao polisi wakubwa wakubwa. Na pia tunataka report ya vyenye pesa ya polisi ya sako imekuwa ikienda. Ndiyo sa zenye tunapeleka petition parliament, tupeleke petition tukiwa na zile fax zenye tulipeleka nazo kotini na tukiwa na fax zingine zenye tunaongezewa. Si tunasema hivi leo, tunajua polisi ni wazuri na tunajua wamekuwa kitumika. Lakini this time around tunawambia, tukingia kwa barabara juu ya polisi, mkuja mtulinde, ndio rights zenyu uziweze kuangaliwa, juu nyinyi ni wa Kenya kama sisi. Asateni sana, mungu wa bariki Kenya. Bunga la mananchi, nguvu mashinani. Naitua Bwana Morris Masiga, Deputy President Bunga la mananchi Kenya. Na sisi kama officials wa Bunga la mananchi, tungependa kuweka sauti yetu, katika hii utepetevu wa Quran police sako. Tunashukuru sana katiba ya 2010 ilitikia polisi wakuwe na sako kwa sababu zamani katiba ya zamani ilikuwa inakataa polisi wangekuwa na sako. Na ni activist na sisi bunge la mwananchi 
tulipigana sana mpaka polisi kiwa kuage na sako mali yao kuweka pesa zao na sasa sasa hivi wamepata mali ya kuweka pesa na polisi tunajua ndio watu wa kulinda sheria na watu wa kuchunga sheria na watu wa kuweka haki na kila mtu apate ile kitu inatakikana lakini ni vibaya sana wale seniors wale watu ambao sasa wako kwa hiyo sako hao ndio wanavunja sheria hao ndio wananyanyasa wale juniors wale watu ambao wamepata pesa kidogo wanaweka kwa sako lakini wale watu wako pale juu ndio wanachukua hiyo pesa wanaiharibu na wanakula na famili zao kwa sababu watu kiangalia hata hizo sako wamechukua ile kitu inaitwa nepotism wamechukua ndio wanaweka dada zao kazini wanaweka ndugu zao kazini wanaweka shemiti zao kazini wameweka sako ni kama ni yao ili hali ni sako ya askari tunasema hii kesi hata kama iko kotiti tunasema tafadhali askari tunajua hawana haki ya kuandamana hawana haki ya kupiket hawana haki ya kutoa press kama ni junior officer kulalamika kuhusu mkubwa wao lakini sisi kama civil society ama bunge la mwanetu tunasema hatutetei ati hatutetei si utetea kila mtu tunatea ewe awe askari awe jeshi hata president akifanya kitu mzuri na anyanyaswa na mtu mwingine sisi tunatetea na ndio maana tunasema this time round tunasema askari hata siku kama civil society ama bunge la mwananchi tunakosana na wao kwa mambo mengine lakini mahali pale ananyanyaswa sisi tunasimama na askari na tunasema askari lazima apate haki yake zile pesa ambazo amesave za kupeleka mtoto wake shule university lazima akienda kuchukua apewe kwa saa ile natakikana si ati akienda kuchukua unaambiwa system imefail unaambiwa mudosi ametoka dada huu polisi mwaliandiko hapa akukuja kazini juzi sisi hatuta kubali maneno kama hiyo tatetea askari apate pesa zake saa zile natakikana na kama bunge la mwananchi hii tutasimama nayo baka mwisho vile saa zingine ukipeleka mtoto wako amerepiwa police station na simamaga nayo na mpeleka baka kotini ndio si tutasimama na huyu hawa askari mpaka mwisho wapate haki kotini bunge la mwananchi nguvu mashinani 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 my name is francis awino i'm the current president bunge la mwananchi and at the same time i'm the people's president the reason why we are here today it is because we have a we have a concern which is a, a fundamental right and a fundamental thing towards our society and towards our movement recently we have seen a lot of things happening towards a police uh, police circle and police fraternity <laughs> Bunge la mwananchi nguvu mashinani Bunge la mwananchi nguvu mashinani